so welcome students welcome once again to the web classes in the previous lecture we understood about conjunction today what we are going to learn we are going to learn about tenses right and the first topic that we are going to understand is simple present tense right simple present tense uh, like i would like to say first of all simple present tense is the most complex and most easy we can say both the way right if you are going deeply inside it is the most complex right but if you are trying to understand it it is the most easiest tense that we can understand so moving further what we are going to understand today okay first of all how do we use it right first of all we need to understand what are the uses of uh, simple present tense right so first use is regular habits or daily routine so how do we use a particular uh, like a simple present tense that right? we use it for regular habits and daily routine if we are doing something regularly if you're having a regular routine if you are having a particular habit uh, then what will we use to express it or to express that idea uh, repeated or uh, usual idea uh, whether it is a habit hobby or a daily event or anything right what do we use it is simple present tense right for example it is written here i play soccer what does that mean that means i play soccer often every day it happens right the school opens every morning at 7 am that is a regular event he always forgets her bag that is also uh, maybe a, it's a habit right uh, every 12 months the earth circles the sun it is uh, we can say a universal truth right so uh, that is uh, what uh, the first use that we can say for regular habits or daily routine that we use uh, the simple present tense the second uh, use uh, that we are going to learn is fact or generalizations uh, whether it is a fact that uh, or maybe it is a, a scientific fact uh, maybe it is a universal truth what do we use it is always simple present tense right the simple present tense can also indicate the speaker believes that the fact was true before right is true now and will be true in future it is not important if the speaker is correct about the fact it is also used to make generalizations about people or thing what does that mean it means to prejudice prejudice something right you know what does that mean prejudice that means we are predicting something that is uh, that was true before that is true now and that will be true in the future whether it is true or not that uh, that is uh, like uh, unknown for the speaker right what whomsoever uh, is speaking about the fact is unknown about the fact that whether it is true uh, or not here it is an example uh, cats like milk right carcass is the capital of venezuela windows are not made of wood right so bo both are like uh, all the sentences written here all three of them are fact maybe we can say or an idea about uh, some, uh, some things right and it is uh, speak uh, spoken by a speaker and the speaker is also unknown ab uh, about uh, the fact that is correct or not so uh, we can see that the simple present tense is uh, can be used uh, for facts and generalizations the third use that we are going to learn is schedule events in the near future we also can use the simple present tense for near future events speakers occasionally use simple present to talk about scheduled events in the near future if we have scheduled something right if we are scheduled in the morning or in the evening right maybe it is near future then we can also use simple present tense this is most commonly done when talking about public transportation but it can be used with other scheduled events as well right and what does that mean public transportation if we are doing a uh, transportation every day from a particular point to another particular point right if we are traveling from here to there right every day then we can also talk about it in simple present tense and how do we use it and how do we uh, like uh, use that thing uh, here is an example okay here are three examples the bus leaves tonight at 6 pm what does that mean that means the bus leaves every night at 6 pm right when do we board the plane that means it is a near future scheduled event 
and how we are going to board the plane when we are going to board the plane it is about a near future the party starts at 8 o'clock right it is also about the near future it is a scheduled event it is surely gonna start at 8 o'clock the fourth use simple present tense is used with adverbs like always often usually sometimes rarely never every day right here are examples elvis i always come to school by car what does that mean it is uh, maybe a habit we can say right it is happening every day a regular event i don't come here very often right it is also about an option we can say he usually eats breakfast at 7 am it is about a habit sometimes i go to party right she rarely cooks he never he is never late for class they sleep early every day so these are the uses of uh, simple present tense how we can use them right i hope you understood each and everything i hope you have uh, just uh, memorized each and everything what i have said maybe if you are not memorizing anything you can just pause the video you can just uh, have a look at each and every uh, uses of uh, the simple present tense right so today it is all for uh, we can see we'll meet in the next lecture thank you stay safe stay home